Okay. okay. Sorry, it was only a minute in, so it wasn't too bad. And I also One, got out of order with my two, cards. Two, three, three, four, three, four five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Hi, my name is Chris Hernandez, and today we're going to be talking about the Scottish Fold Cat. George Eliot once said, Animals are such agreeable friends. They ask no questions, and they pass no criticisms. I'm sure many of us have a four-legged friend or a, a furry child who fits this description. I wish they could speak sometimes, because they can't tell us when they're in pain, when they're sad, or when they're being exploited. Some animals become fashion trends due to famous owners or social media obsessions. The Scottish Fold has become commercialized in spite of the known dangers surrounding its genetic causes of, of their owl-like appearance. Today we will discuss the history of the Scottish Fold, the health problems that plague this breed, and the real consequences of selective breeding. The Scottish Fold was first discovered in 1961 by William Ross. He found Susie living on his farm. Susie had a round face and ears that pointed down. In 1966, he began to breed this animal and register the breed with the Governing Council of the Cat Fancy of Great Britain. In the 1970s, ear disorders and hearing problems became apparent within the breed. And by 1974, the breed was no longer recognized by the Cat Fancy due to the crippling deformity of the limbs and tail evident within the breed. Around this time, the breed was brought to the United States for research. Sally Wolf Peters adopted one of the kittens and began breeding them. Peters is thought to be chiefly responsible for developing the breed in the United States. Now that we have discussed the history, let us consider the cause of their rare appearance. It is a genetic bone disorder called osteochondrodysplasia. The Department of Orthopedic Surgery at New York University Medical Center says the disorder is characterized by abnormal growth of cartilage and bone. This disorder exists in humans, some dog breeds, and the Scottish Fold Cat. In the Scottish Fold, the cartilage is not strong enough to hold up the ears as it does in other cats. Cartilage is important for bone growth, and it affects more than just the ears. Cartilage exists in joints and inside bones. The bones start as cartilage, and they eventually harden to form bones. The Scottish Folds have weaker joints and shorter life as a result of this disorder. Gojoin Rabbits, the president of the British Veterinary Association, says, these genetic mutations, which all Scottish Folds have, develop into lifelong, incurable, and painful diseases, such as a type of arthritis. In light of the health problems associated with breeding Scottish Folds, let's examine the far-reaching consequences of selective breeding. All species that, ex that have existed for several generations have survived and adapted to their environments down to a molecular level. Genetic variation makes these species less weak to disease and other hindrances to survival. So when selective breeding and artificial selection takes place, animals with the same characteristics are paired to create more offspring with those characteristics. This homogenization is dangerous because those animals may possess traits that make them more prone to disease and less likely to survive. If selective breeding is taken too far, the negative traits are compounded and carried on to their offspring. Such is the case for the Scottish Fold, as well as other dog breeds. The Bulldog is commonly known for having breathing issues due to its flat face and shortened breathing passages. The Dachshund and other toy dog breeds suffer from bowed legs and arthritis. Gudrun Rabbit says, again, no excuse for breeding from an animal who we know is going to suffer a painful and lifelong incurable disease. Now, we are not breeders, but we can help to eliminate the problem of aesthetic artificial selection by adopting animals from shelters instead of going to boutique breeders or puppy mills. In summary, we learned about the Scottish Fold Cat. We discussed how the breed was brought to the United States. 
We also cover the genetic cause of their rare appearance and the health problems associated with the breed. Finally, we explore the outcomes of selective breeding, how we can eliminate perpetuating negative gene traits for aesthetic appeal. Scottish Fold has existed for a century, maybe even longer. The traits that make them adorable also cause them to live in pain. Tragically, this is the case for many animal breeds. This breed is no longer recognized by major cat breed catalogs. However, due to its social media presence, it is still in demand, and this demand creates a market for professional breeders. It's not the fault of the owners. Everyone likes to take and share pictures of their animals. Personally, I love looking at pictures of, of pets on the internet. It takes up easily 80% of my browsing history. But it's important to remember that these cats are living things. They're not fashion items. They cannot be discarded when the fashion trend is over. It's true, pets ask no questions and they offer no criticisms. So it is up to us, as their human guardians, to protect them from suffering and exploitation. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine.